us. All the one them who get them daughter back tonight, how them feel like relieved. Fino says not an next sad story. And who knows what the story is because we not hear yet what happened to her. We not hear what happened to the little girl will come back yet, you know. Who is this person with the car away? Can she describe him? Will the police be able to apprehend him? That is the most important part. So I don't go to this to our next family again. And who knows if I know him I do it to this family you now. So people no please do like last night. Maybe we come together and pray again. And make the team come together and search again. All of the people I'm in mean, St. Thomas or anyone who they can be a part of the search team. Be a part of the search team. Help the police. Do something. How can two little girls go missing in a St. Thomas in like 24 hours? And as we find one, one gone again. Just imagine the family, they all in an area how them depend on edge and nervous and I lock up them door and them grill and can't sleep tonight and them something late. Hmm? It's like the people them being tormented by all these heinous acts in Jamaica. And especially when it comes to children, it's so sad. Like, I, I've thought about this so many times. You know, I know everything where I can come on video and talk. But so many times I've been disturbed by stories of children who gone missing, who never turn up back, who get raped, who dead, who them never ever find them body. The parents, them not get no closure. And as me say most of the time, the people them want to do them something like them in the community amongst us. Them amongst the people. And no no outs them. So it just happen. And sometimes when the things them happen to a little girl, them no shame so no hide it. No no bring it to the front for say this little girl did get molested or this little girl get raped. And we need to give her some therapy and support and don't shame her. And families need to feel that way, like they can relax knowing that they're gonna get help from the system for these little girls that either get abused or go missing. It's very concerning. So here we go again. More prayers we need, more search, more faith, more hope, more goodwill in our way. If you know, say if we see something like that to happen, we now protect them. Where where this man um, are this person now gone with this picnic now? Last night, me just did a think about the picnic in the bush with this man. Tonight again, one different one. For a my mind. Like, where them carry the picnic gone? What will happen to the picnic? Are we going to see the picnic again? The picnic will come back damaged? Are we just now going to get no closure? What? Like, like people just anxious and up on the edge again. Again. In a less than 24 hours, the same thing will happen in our one same community. What that people in every community you know, have to understand say when them people are there about, we have to notice them, notice their actions, or them behave, look how them notice, how them look for the picnic, them don't let the picnic, them run a man, don't care a man in our house, ladies. Oh no, easy if you care a man, or not a date or a man where. On a feel say have no interest at heart in our house and it's not always the case so many children are suffering from these things in Jamaica some of them can have a talk for them and they not believe them and then now you have these random events happening right now I don't even know the details of how this little girl go missing was she in her house was she going to the shop was she on the road was she with family why may I tell you you know, one time somebody told me a story about a little girl where I couldn't believe. The little girl said she want to go somewhere with her stepfather. And everybody in the yard are saying, No, make she stay in the yard. She's too enough. She needs to stay in the yard. Where she go? Her mother now go so she doesn't need to go. The little girl asked her mother and her mother said, Yes, she can go. And she the mother now go. She sent the little girl gone with the man. Would you believe that so the little man hold on the little girl and do him feel like I'm breed the little girl? After I'm breed the little girl, the yeah, mother know about it, and a few family members realize what one. The little girl have the picnic, 
and the mother take full responsibility for the picnic. Without no consequence to the man. She and the man just go them separate ways and she have the picnic and raise like she's the father to the picnic. And the little girl who get pregnant and bring forth the picnic don't get no therapy, no help, no conversation, no nothing. Nothing at all. Them just left her up on her own. So, so like, she she no learn say what happened to her never supposed to happen to her and she, her mother not take responsibility and apologize to her and beg her for forgiveness or nothing she just act like all right you know said it for me man do this so me just gonna take the picnic and i saw she deal with the picnic all now you have some of them them no one go know where them them the woman do whatsoever them i do and I send them picnic out. When you send your picnic out, you don't know where you send your picnic out to. More why not even my gate, me don't want my daughter to go to me concern. The picnic them need so much more attention and protection. Me don't think we don't, we don't take this serious enough. Jamaican people in every community. I know your picnic, that no matter, is a child of your community. Look out for that child. If you see even some like a funny move and go on with that child, talk to the child. Children need so much more than what they get in Jamaica. From parents, from families, from the community. Come on now. Me really I hope the center must come together. And make, we can hear said a little girl and forward again like how we hear said the one come today. Imagine two times in a one day me have to come here so well. Me feel like come here so. I talk about the same thing. And we don't even know if it's not a serial pedophile take her away. Suppose that the same man just take it for a joke and say, hey, all right, let me let go that one here, you know, and just grab one next one. I grab one next one and do something wicked and now. They could not talk about me some more. Because I'm sick, you know. Anybody we can take away a person, child. Kidnap a person, child. Or molest a person child or whatever to a person child. Them, them, them have, have some sick, devious, evil thing about them. Some of them have mental illness. we relate to even them own abuse. You see what I say? So we all have to take this as a serious thing. Make it be bigger than just bad sentiments. I know so it's every community. We now go low a next pedophile for coming, come take one youth. And then gear back to we and then take a next one or maybe it's a next pedophile just say oh all right so you know say the brother they do that me i go do this can they mimic each other to you know a criminal them they mimic each other why each other do but the worst set a criminal them are the money the money would pray upon your picnic them children innocent children if you deal with adult and them corruption and them past psychological Things where them never get no attention for. It's not those children's fault. I me say it already. Me like the saying we say hurt people, hurt people. Because some of these people were doing these things. They had been abused. So another 30, another child, 13 year old gone missing people. Me really hope say search team get this child back. And that we can find the perpetrator and bring them to justice. We're tired of this. We're tired of this. Every mother, every grandmother, every auntie, every grandfather, uncle, parent, grandparents must be concerned. Must be concerned. So me, I say we need to take this thing further than just bad sentiments and make it an island-wide thing. Where we all are look out for make sure say we no know say one picnic in a danger and we no do nothing about it. Man just take up picnic and gone so. And then come back, come put on pitney or them go find pitney or we don't even know the condition of the pitney. Maybe by tomorrow we are going to hear if she get raped, if she get molested, what she talks, said did she know the person, whatever the case. But me so interested for you know. No, I just want to know she alright. Yeah. She come home and if she even get traumatized, which she must be traumatized, we family and people with encouragement and so can help that child to feel better and to overcome this. Right? So we are hope say we don't have another sad ending. Right? Even though we see one child come home, 
there are so many children still missing who not come home. Yeah, you, know, gonna you understand? So many of them don't come home and so many parents and family still holding out hope. Some of them are years, they still have hope, so them picking a return and them picking a return. Lord of mercy. Also. Ah oh boy. People please. Please my beg on Please. Make sure son of vigilant with the kids them. Please be vigilant with them. Even when them in your yard. Even when them in your house. You can't go to your bed and have people in your bed. Family member or friend who in there molest your picnic. And sometimes them threaten them and the them don't want to talk. But you see, once you as I don't know about it, don't leave it like that. It's so sad. So prayers up again, people, for that little girl. You're 13 year old. I don't know her name yet. I forgot to find out her name. I hope so then find her quick. Right? Make we speak it into being that she will be returned safely to her family tonight or tomorrow morning. Last night when I was going to bed, as I said in my video, I prayed that today I would hear that a little girl is returned. And I did hear that. And I'm praying the same again for this little girl. I wish I knew her name to say her name in my prayers tonight. Because if we all pray together, we can get good results and work together so the search team the police and all of them we have to pray for them pray with them may god go with them if you see this search through and hopefully this search will come out with a return of another baby because she's 13 she's still baby so sad to know that a second young lady from st thomas is missing so people spread the word call the police Two one 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 triple eight protect um or the nearest police station whatever way we can assist the saint thomas family to get their daughter back or their child back let us do it all right everybody every jamaican who hear this story spread it to our next one and if you're in a saint thomas area you can be a part of the search do it man do it let's try and bring this girl home again in whatever way we can whether by some type of thought or energy energies combined make a difference all right people so we might not be a center my spanning ground if we can go out there if we go look fear but with tears and with prayers and with consideration and with meditation and everything come together can make a difference and if you police them really not head together and do the right thing it can yield the result you know because we not just want you to say the girls them come home one here said so the pedophile them get catch and we are gonna see justice out of this take them off of the street take them out of the community more and more people when they don't see them they don't know them they don't know them they don't have them and live long soon and i go and like say everything all right everything not all right it not all right that's why little girls go missing every day every day is something else with the children in jamaica come on man when we're going to actually have some serious action towards this and the serious other crimes which are plaguing our country. It's like everything they on top when it comes to crime. Rape, robbery. Me just a listening to news that when this morning they must say um, numbers are last and gone up. So robbing, killing, raping, kidnapping, Scamming the whole works, crime turn up, and with the crime plan, is who I see a crime plan man for cover all these things child abduction, child abuse. The whole works, we need to see the game step up on that. You understand? So that them people are know so when them see the pity them, they all allow them. Them now go trouble them because they know so if them trouble them, they might get them private parts cut off or they might go to prison. Or we are going to hang them in a square or something wicked are going to happen to them. If you touch people, Pitney. Yeah, that's the thing there. We need some wicked, harsh penalties for them people here. Yeah, so that they can be deterred. And they can keep them like a psychotic, child molesting ways to themselves. Right? Or they go report themselves, make police lock them up. 
fit what them do or carry them go get them help lock them up in a some mental institution or something because we sick and tired of this when we see in jamaica alone it happen jamaica hill triple three thirteen everywhere everywhere you have these sick people you have these sick people who just attack what people pick me and uh, we can't even use the word them will come to mind it's like them just so disgusting and you have people who know about these things it happens for all levels grooming coercion you have parents who um, encourage it with liquor girls and older men then you have you want them where in a secret then you have you want them where people them afraid of if the man them who do it it's like there's no escape. It's like there's no escape from this in a Jamaica. And in the whole world, as somebody said, children have got through this. It's just crazy. If you check the list of missing children in Jamaica now, you would see that a small percentage have ever been returned or even found. So that's why this case what happened with Felissa Prusia was so, so encouraging because finally like after so many missing children and abductions and and our uh, um children who never return finally here we are with yeah. one that did return so that was like you know everybody was cheering and happy and then a few hours later we hear that there's another child missing from the same damn community like what the hell so now the focus of the police needs to be to find this guy Jasmine Dean, somebody said, Look at Jasmine, all now. Right? Well, if a name, so we don't know Jasmine, I'm one of the few names them. The list long with the heap of pity them were missing. We just don't know all of them names because the list too long. Yes. So we just, in name them, we can't remember we use them names to represent yeah, all of the other one like them. Older, like 12, hmm? And I told them, I'm saying, I'm going to say, I'll never forget the little girl's name. No, I have a new name for learn. Because by tomorrow we're going to know the little girl name or before the end of the night. Because you know she's just known as a 13 year old who is missing from St. Thomas. But he, as big as my daughter be five a store me in her and she'll run around and I hide on a plane and I store me get vexed. I tell her I said don't do that. Don't do that. You have to keep your eyes on the children. Keep them in such a way where they're close to you. Like every time. You know, no. they need more sheltering in this world more than anything else. It's hard for just low yeah. up your picnic. And then sometimes you just do the normal thing, which is you're asking the child to go to the shop or something like that. What sh you have her name? Winshay Barrett. Somebody's messaging me that the child's name is Winshay Barrett. 13 years old. From St. Thomas. I don't even know the circumstances. Where was she? How was she abducted? It's just the fact that she was yeah, abducted that's that the problem and that we are now concerned and worried. Oh, Jamaica worried. Say is a serial yeah. pedophile and the, the same area. Right? So it looked like that. But it could have been a next yeah. one and mimic him same way. Cause them dead, yeah. them dead. As me said, them in every community amongst the people, them like like them are normal people. Them do normal. Them evil. Them not normal. We need to root them out of the community. Make a picnic them can walk our shop freely. Make a people them can picnic them can out of the world. I play like a ball. I play jacks. Skipping rope or whatsoever. Make children be children. Right now, just imagine bad center my side people them nervous. Imagine that people them lock up them house and feel and afraid. Just imagine. Oh man, this is just as a mother, as a woman, as a citizen, just as a person, as somebody who used to be a girl. It just so sad. You know what I mean? If you see this happen to one next week, pick me in a less than 24 hours or 24 hours. Somebody just said something about the sex offenders list. Of course, 
There needs to be one so that when somebody move come in your community or you suspect them or you know but you can type them in and see. Of course we need sex offenders list. Why we not have that? I think recently them said we have something like that man. So hopefully it's up to date that if you can go online you can check and see. Right? And them find the little girl but no more hear them and see them them dip on a hunt for the brother. Finding her, bringing her home is not enough. We need to get rid of who will take her away. Yeah, like Suppose I'm seeing one come back now, come play this a big game for the police, then make them look sad. Save your divine, no, no, no. I don't know. You know, so I'm not sure they have no public um sex offenders list where we can look and see name them. But I'm going to find out. Me find out and tell my people them one next time. Or if you find out, you can tell me too. Because this is serious now. Anybody can just come, come and take up Pitney and go on with Pitney. So, and all when you see them pass CCTV camera, you can see them good, you can find them. And then probably just let off a Pitney and go and take up a next one again in a this case. If, if it's a serial pedophile. If not, then that means you have an next pedophile in your area. That's why I say we need to make this bigger than just bad St. Thomas and make it be a every area thing. Every community is supposed to come together and pre out the man, the man, and say, eh, that's so how you move. Or if you did, you know, you have to watch them, see them movements. So when time it narrow come down to the end now, you can say, you narrow it down to three man or two man or four man in the area and you start figure out where the man is there, the man is the boy the same way we'll check them out and get the police involved. Somebody said the man with them say, take with the little girl the first one, the dip and bail for rape. Sometimes they don't forget no bail. They put them in a jail and rap me. Can in a jail as long as the case are go on because we don't know who else them are going to end danger. Yeah. The penalty them the penalty them need for harsh harsh bad. Yes. No little slap or it's like what we see at Guana Jamaica. For rape and child abduction and child abuse and and domestic abuse and them something there. With them need bigger charges for them things that so people can live out of fear, stop living in a fear. By the way, how them treated by some sicked people, some nasty man and some dirty stinking man who won't leave the pit in them alone. Some like a dirty man were full of them like a nasty devilish fantasy. And for them idea of what it is where them want. Which is not right in any way, shape or form. For your adult, have any type of feelings for your pitney and a Either kidnap the pitney, groom the pitney, give the money pitney for there with them, or no, none of them the same thing, then are right. None of them. Yeah, they mean for catch him, man. Mm. Worse if the same person I do this a second time, like like him take with a joke and take with a idiot. I mean, me concerned that it might be a next one where. where Copy him, you know, copycat style criminal, them work that way, they you know. Yeah, some people oh, him just. Like oh, me not hear the police, they must say nothing about search for him. We get back, little girl. Yes, we're glad to get back, Felissa. But what make we not continue to talk about the fine who oh, him is? is. Me not hear nothing about that for the whole day. When someone them should have work around the clock on this. Somebody said. See, they know it's a next pit that they have to search for me. Well, let me search for this little demon. Whoever I miss. Boy, I mean, tell the people, John Star. As me say, prayers up, prayers up. Make we pray. Make we see the search team again. Make we get some result again because John Star, this not look good and it not feel good. The children them in Jamaica need more attention and protection from the community, from the family, from the people them who understand and when you know see certain situation, don't turn a blind eye. 
me know say sometimes I'm afraid and I don't trust police and this and that. But me honestly and genuinely feel say when it comes to them thing here, especially the police them could really use some support. Because we are the ones in the communities who see and know the things that we have won. This evening, my, my, my daughter and I'm two little Pitney with them somewhere and them a swim. And a big man jumping at the pool and my friend called the man, she don't care. She called the man and asked the man who he is. He sees so much little Pitney in a pool and jump into. So we want to know who he is before swimming starts. Yeah. Because we are looking out for the pitney, then we are protect the pitney them. So we not care if a guy was offended when we ask him who him is. And he was a guest hanging out there just the same, and he was cool about it, and that's okay. So we know so him him alright. And then soon after he was joined by a lady, and they were there hanging out and enjoying themselves as well. You have to be so vigilant that sometimes you're offensive. Who cares if a guy want vex? As long as we make it clear, say the picnic them where I look out for. And so it's supposed to go. Me very when it come to them something them my antenna them up. Your antenna have it up when you have kids around, whether you your child or someone else's child, to protect them in every single way. Right? You have to protect them from all kind of things. Same thing again at the pool with the one little boy there. Him leaving ready for swimming, really, but you know, Pitney won't have fun. And him, that they were bigger kids, and one at the time, me still like him, I get in a trouble. And me still have to look out for him. I know my Pitney, but me care. So, me, I said to the next Pitney, where I play with him, say, careful with him, you know, because he's little and he's panic or whatever. We have, to do, we have to do better. Protect the Pitney them as much as possible. Try to keep them in as much as possible. Keep them under your wings. Shadow them every move. Look out for them. And trust me, as much as we do that, sometimes we don't know because the evil them are lurk. The evil them are lurk. So right now the police them need to just on the heels of this evil man with take with Felisa and get rid of him. And then now find out if I him see him and take with this epitome and hopefully we get this epitome back. Hopefully we get this epitome back. January star. I tell you, it's terrible. So let me see the child name again and I go back. Oh my god, it's, it's just ridiculous. Two people in like 24 hours from the same place in Jamaica. Oh man. Winshane Barrett. I guess I'm not up to date with what's on the internet now, but I'll go and look again. and get myself up to date winchin barrett let's pray for her safe return everyone all right thank you for watching the video and my heart goes out to the family and we pray that felicia return without any damage and that the perpetrator will be held responsible all right good night everyone pray now pray and the search team kudos to you get it going again let's do it now for winchin all right I wish I could be a part of that search team. I'm so far away and so many people far away. But I'm sending my good energy and my prayers and my hopes and wishes for this child to be returned home safely. Alright yes. people, let's keep the prayers going. One love.